know already in July I actually paid my car off and literally right before I paid it off everything started happening so in the midst of July we ended up moving to our new apartment right when we moved to a new apartment we're moving stuff back and forth back and forth well in the middle of June July and August here it's hot as shit it is the hottest it's really August when it's really the hottest but July and August yeah and we moved in the middle of July so it's gearing into August right so it's really really hot well with me moving and doing a lot of active back and forth I'm not realizing that my AC went out so with me moving back and forth I'm already hot you know it is what it is I'm not thinking of the nothing well literally the last time I moved all the stuff out of the old apartment into the new apartment I was like okay my AC is blowing hot air it has to be because why am I still hot it's, I'm like baking in my own car so I'm like feeling around and I'm like yeah I don't feel no cold air at all this feels like straight hot air so I'm like okay I'll go to like I asked because you know my dad and my stepbrother I mean uh, brother-in-law they all do mechanical stuff in cars so they know a lot of stuff so I had asked them my dad actually tried to charge it because usually you just need a charger AC right well he tried that and it didn't work so I actually went to go get it actually looked at and they're like oh yeah we charged it for you da 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 so I paid for it and we were good to go well two weeks later the AC stopped again and I'm like bro I literally just got this shit fixed two weeks ago why isn't it working again bro so I bring it right back to them so I'm like y'all the ones that fixed this so y'all figure out what's going on well mind you I had to sit there all day I had to miss the entire day at work just for them to figure out what was the problem because they said there was only one person there to look at it so he took the entire thing apart he looked come to find out the freaking AC hose had a leak in it that they did not see two weeks prior when they first fixed the freaking AC which makes sense why the AC was not blowing cold because they were saying oh it could be the alternator it could be this it could be that um da -da -da -da. all that checked out everything was working so when they realized that they're like oh we're gonna have to charge it again this this and that but we're not gonna charge you charge you for it because we already did it two weeks ago da -da -da -da. So $500 later, y'all, I finally got AC that freaking works. Okay? That's the first thing that happened. Second thing. Take the car off, right? All of a sudden. All of a sudden. I named my car Lonnie, okay? Lonnie decides that she didn't want to start up properly. Like, she hesitated to start. And I was like, oh, hell no. We're not doing this, okay? We're not doing this. Because mind you, I've had issues with her starting up before. And I can't remember. I don't think it was what this issue was. It was something else. I can't remember what it was. It was years ago. But I'm like, okay, what the fuck is going on, right? So my brother-in-law advised me to go get my battery tested because he instantly thought it was the battery from the jump. He was like, it could be other issues too, but I feel like it's the battery. Just go get it checked out. So I went to the zone, got it checked out. They said it was completely fine, but it was this, 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 and this. And I was like, mm, that don't sound right to me. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. I'm gonna, you know, wait on it, whatever. Well, the next day it got worse. I said, oh, no, 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 no. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure something out, right? My dad knows a mobile mechanic that will literally come to you. So he came to my job, he tested everything out, and he was like, ma'am, it's definitely your battery. And I was like, now see, I'd have been pissed off if I'd have listened to them motherfuckers at AutoZone and got whatever they was trying to tell me to get. I'd have been pissed off, right? But I already knew. I was like, mm -mm, no, something ain't right. So when he told me it was my battery, I was like, okay, I'm going to go and get a new battery. So... I was trying to remember where I got the battery from. And I couldn't remember because it was years ago, right? So, he was like, it's this type of battery. See if you can try to Google it and see where it came from. So, it said advanced auto parts. So, I was 
order to even test that. And I said, oh, so he's just, he was just telling me shit, just tell me shit, basically. He was like, but I will run a test on everything else just to see what we come up with if there's anything besides your battery. So he did say there was one other thing that at some point I would have to make sure that I check on it and make sure it's working properly because it could potentially drain your battery if it's not working properly. I was like, okay, cool. So come to find out, he looked in the system when I bought the old battery. Y'all, why did I buy that battery in 2020? And it was a three-year-old battery, but it made it to 2024. How did I make a three-year battery last four years? I don't know. I don't know, but I did, and it's awesome because even when I told my uh, brother-in-law about it, he was like, "How the fuck did you make a three-year battery last four years? That's good as fuck." <laughs> I was like, "I don't know how I did it, but by the grace of God, I did." Okay. So at least I know for future, for future reference where the fuck I got my battery from, and I got three year again. So hopefully I can make her last for another four. Whatever's gone, but it is. When they say don't pay your car off, that's when the shit starts. Listen to them, please. Because I was so excited. I didn't even care about what they were talking about. I was just so excited to finally have my car paid off. You know, this is my first car that I finally got to pay by myself. This is my first car in my name, all this and all that. So I was so excited to finally be able to pay off my first car that I ever bought by myself, right? Word of advice, listen to them people when they say do not think just because you pay your car off, your car not going to start doing shit that it don't need to be doing because that's exactly when the fuck it starts. So I'm blessed to have said that's the only two things that have started so far. I do know there's other things that need to be fixed on it, but they're not anything really major. So I am blessed to say that yes, she started showing her ass as soon as she knew I paid her off, but I mean, it's Honda, you know, like I said, I have a good ways to utilize her, um, I'm literally not even at 200,000 miles yet, so I'm, I'm perfectly fine, I don't even really drive my car long distances like that, I've only done it a couple times, so I'm perfectly fine, but I just wanted to show y'all, this is my testimony to y'all, that that shit is not a myth, they are telling the truth when they say, as soon as you pay it off or you're close to paying it off, that's when all hell breaks loose. Okay. But I absolutely love my car. Um, I know a lot of people were like, oh, so now that you've got to pay it off, are you going to um, trade it in and get something new? No. I'm actually going to use this time to try to stock up on money. Actually. <laughs> I'm actually no, I'm actually going to try to stock up on money. Actually. Because um, no, absolutely not. I'm not doing that. And not, no, I'm trying to save money, not continue to give money out, you know, even though I am going to have to give money out for repairs and stuff when things do need to get fixed and all that, but it's still not going to be crazy like I would if I got a whole brand new car, you know, like my car is worth something, but not enough for me to try to put a down payment on something new, you know what I'm saying? Even if it was a new used car, no, not even, no. The amount of money that they're wanting for this car is it wouldn't even make sense honestly to me at least but that's my story time um let me know in the comments if you've ever paid off a car and what your experience was because i know a lot of people go through the same thing that i went through and i just want to hear y'all's stories because i know i ain't the only one make me feel better at least in the comments y'all make me feel better <laughs> like i'm doing something right here but thank you guys so much for joining and i'm gonna see you guys next time